welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, Cy Pitaway. Today on the show you're going to see the culmination of three short shooting sessions where both myself and Davy have been assisting Andrew, the dairy farm owner, uh, in Wiltshire trying to control and manage the rat population both in his dry grain store and also on his dairy farm. Now, now the cold weather's coming in and winter's hitting us, uh, the rats are moving out from the field where they had easy pickings in the summer and moving into drier, warmer places where there's a constant food source, i.e. the grain stores uh, and the dairy farm. Now, the breeding, uh, due to the food and the warmth, uh, so the population is growing. So over the last couple of days, uh, Davy's been twice and I went again with Davy last night and we've been managing them and shooting them. So what you will see is humane rat control and the reason we are doing it is under uh, protection of crops. Uh, and also rats carry a lot of disease including diseases what can actually affect humans and in some cases kill them. Uh, and we will be doing a show or an episode later on where we'll be talking more about rats in detail and some of the diseases what they can actually carry. So stay tuned and enjoy the episode. This is Davey now just opening up the combination to the dry, dry grain store. In the meantime, while Davy was still undoing the combination, I'd spotted this rat. And as you can see, I took it with a clean head shot to the right hand side of its head. It did kick a few times with its nerves, uh, and then it was still. So it was the uh, first rat of the night, and a good start to the evening. So here's the uh, first rat, what you've just seen me shoot. So it went over, a uh, nice head shot. You can imagine now the George music waiting to see what happens when we open. He hasn't been here for a while. When we first came here, right? Yeah. When we uh, opened this gate, this uh, big barn door, you could hear them all in there talking and squealing to one another. Oh no. You haven't been here for a while, have you? No. You can see here there was a lot of rats and they were feeding on the hay grain and straw on the floor. Uh, at this particular part of the evening Davy was trying to line one of these rats up for a humane shot but each time he got the crosshair and he was just about to pull the trigger uh, on the rat's head the rat had turned and there's going to be a, a demonstration of that uh, in a second on this rat here. You can see he's following it now, he's just about to pull the trigger and at this point the rat runs off. And as I've said it, on other episodes of our channel unless we can just about guarantee or we're really confident that we can make a humane shot uh, on the vermin species we're shooting uh, we won't take the shot so if it means this rat getting away uh, and on this occasion every one of these uh, gets away because each time uh, it happens here it's just about to take the shot and the rat turns uh, and then turns its back and walks off Uh, sometimes when you're shooting rats you have to be very patient and in this scenario here this rat had its back to Davy uh, obviously Davy's not going to shoot until he can actually see uh, her head or, or a part of the body or one of the vital organs like the heart or lungs well, they reacted to the whistle um, Not so much of the squeak, but some have. There you go. That's just the nervous system shutting down. And uh, the brain has taken so much trauma by the pellet. I'm upstairs in the grain store now and I spot this rat on top of the concrete block. As you can see it's hit and it falls down the left hand side by the pipe. Uh, I'll retrieve that in a second. I just want to show you, this is me in the uh, grey drain store. And you can see it's just full up of rat poo everywhere all along. And if I just move the camera around, see there in the spot now. That's that rat you just saw me shoot. That's a big rat that is as well. You can see this, these hoppers go down the left and the right hand side and then there's this wall going all the way to the back. And obviously that's where the rat was. There he is. 
can see there I've got a size nine and a half welly just next to the rat's body and my welly is only just a little bit bigger and there's still a little bit of bend in that rat there so it's probably I'd say I don't know 10 11 inch just in the body and then you've got the tail there look a real big rat that is no, this is what the rats do they come out and eat all the cattle grain this is why the farmer wants them uh, controlled. <whistles> and this is how we control them with an air rifle, voluntary vermin control. Right, we're in the uh, main dairy farm now, we've come back down, just having a monster drink uh, pause, a bit of a break. See uh, what we've done with the XVI today. Just hand filming this with the camera, there's no tripod. You see I've got the actual mini DVR now attached to the top of the LCD screen and IR module uh, so it's all velcroed together and at the back all the cables are all coming now look through the actual aluminium pipe and on top so it's nice and small all I've got is one cable with the lightweight battery on what I've got off eBay just put that in the pocket so it works a lot better Right, we're at the end of one of the uh, cow large barns uh, and David's just setting up the scope cam now and um, what we've seen is three ferals so I'm going to move around the back of David now he's just got a cow move right in front of him typical due to the cow moving in front of David I move into a position uh, and I see this one here with a nice safe backstop uh, and I target it using the 2.2 caliber XVI you can see I hit it cleanly in the heart and it drops uh, straight down to the floor. Can't find it. Right, as you can see, there's another ferrule there, uh, and the one I took was actually in the steel there. This one we're not going to shoot, simply for the simple reason there's some sort of like asbestos roof, and the pellet will probably go straight through it at this range, which is probably 15 yards, and cause damage to the roof. But if I come down slowly, Try and locate it for you. There's the uh, the one what we did it, and so it went straight through and straight down. Hence why we're not taking the one on the roof. Due to the problem with uh, obviously pellets damage the roof, Davy's moved now to his far right hand side, and he's in a position resting his S410. Uh, on one of these metal poles uh, with his laser on which is the IR300 from Night Hunter and you can see he's illuminating now, he's using the middle uh, of the actual metal uh, beam as a backstop now from the position he is uh, so he's just checking his scope camera now making sure everything's lined up uh, so he can make sure he gets a perfect heart shot uh, and this is what he does now Good shot There we go Oof. It almost hit me that bird did. I'll uh, come down and uh, move backwards. Well, my gun's just on the floor there. And there's the bird. Stone dead. Clinical shot. Well done, mate. You can see when Davy's ready, this will be the, the third pigeon. If I zoom in, that's where my rifle is there. There's the two we've already shot. Yeah. Got the steel struts coming this way. Go that way. So there you go. There's the uh, three white feral pigeons, and the farmers wanting these got rid of as well. And I'll just zoom in. And there's the last bird. You see, Davy hit it. And there's the exit wound. This rat was just outside the barn. It was hiding under a pallet. 
you can see it gets shot at there quite humanely and it falls between the pallets uh, kicks about a bit as normal with the nerves and then dies now this rat was identified but there wasn't really enough of its head showing to guarantee uh, a pellet in the brain so Davy switched to the closer target which was this one here which is out in the open allowing him to take a nice shot uh, to the brain as seen here dispatching the rat very cleanly This one don't want to stay still too long. Mm. Well, did that time. Just behind that uh, dirt is. Your main shot straight to the brain. It fell between them pallets as you saw. There must have been a low kip or tucking into something really nice there. This is footage showing the cannibalistic tendencies of a rat and you can see this case it's licking and eating the throat of its dead mate. Right, we've got a rat here, look. It's going to cock the XBI. Yeah, See that it went straight through his head and hit the uh, yeah. paper at the back, rolled him straight over. I'll just zoom back out of the magnification. This is a baby rat what we spot just outside the cow shed and I'm just about to line up for a shot when it runs off but unfortunately for the rat it comes back and gives me a face on uh, picture and I just give it a little bit of old under which is required for a reticle true shot and uh, you can see the pellet struck the rat right between the eyes uh, it jumped forward with nerves uh, and then it expired really quickly so it was a nice pleasing shot uh, and proving the quality of the XVI especially as a ratting rifle. Three rats. Just try and zoom out a bit more. There we go. Some big ones as well. Well folks, that's it for this episode of Vermin Hunters TV and both me and David hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the clip a thumbs up. 
Before I go though, I'd just like to make one final comment, and it's in regards to a few different various posts I've read on the various internet sites in regards to hunting, YouTube and pest control. Uh, and quite rightly, there's this people uh, in the hunting community, or hunters themselves, who uh, don't agree with people like me and Davey putting footage on YouTube showing animals being shot. Uh, they find it uncouth and disrespectful for the animal. Now, we respect everyone's views, and if that's what the gentleman actually thinks himself, uh, and then fair play to him, you know, he, that's, his, that's his own idea. Now, the reason we do it, and the way we do it, one shot, one kill, uh, and respectfully and humanely all the time, is because we believe if hunting was stopped completely on YouTube, be it vermin control or any hunting, uh, but people were still allowed to do it, they would go out, buy an air rifle, they'd have nothing, no correct uh, method, no example to follow, or good example I should say, and they'd go about it doing it the way they think it should be done, which is going to result in animals being shot uh, and wounded and it'll be suffering to an animal. So the reason me and David do it, we like to give a good example, we like to show animals being shot either in the head, heart and lungs, and if we can't make that shot, then that animal don't get shot, simple as. And that doesn't matter if it's a rat, rabbit, crow, or anything on the UK vermin register, it's respectful uh, to that animal and we don't want it to suffer. Now a lot of people say, yeah, but sire, a rat's a rat and they're dirty. It doesn't matter to us, it's still an animal and it, it deserves the respect uh, and the dignity to die quickly and that's the way we do it. So by giving this example and passing it on uh, through YouTube to people who are getting into the sport, they're getting the correct example and not exa a bad example like I watched the other day when a gentleman in America shot a squirrel nine times before it died. After the first shot the squirrel was paralysed and it was in agony uh, and he could have walked up to that squirrel keeping the muzzle in a safe direction, he could have put that squirrel out of its misery straight away but he didn't, he stood back uh, and he shot another eight times before it died and it absolutely disgusted me, I felt sick but that squirrel was in agony uh, and luckily a good friend of mine along with quite a few other friends uh, and myself managed to flag this to YouTube and we got it removed because that was a bad example and this is why people who are against hunting can get so angry and I agree I'm a hunter myself and that actually angered me so that's the reason we do it uh, to put a good example forward so I'm not trying to give a scapegoat I'm just giving my point and I want pass my point on to, to you who actually follow us. So thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, please stay safe. Uh, me and Dave will be back shortly with some more episodes and hopefully we'll have some more HFT coming up. Uh, we've got some equipment reviews coming up and in the new year we've hopefully got a world's first uh, equipment review on something what we're going to get hold of. So bye for now.